Hello there. I'm uh, Dieter Bergman. I work for the IPC and I'm the Director of Technology Transfer. And today I'm going to talk about a question that we received on some of the data that we teach in the design standards for the uh, certified design training activity. Uh, this uh, question comes from the um, the design standard that we publish and is specifically related to the charts that were published many years ago. Let me show you. There are three charts in question and they relate to the uh, temperature changes that take place in the conductor. And the top chart kind of talks about uh, conductors that are on the surface of the board uh, the bottom chart talks about internal conductors, and the middle tells you how to judge how wide to make the conductor. Now our question uh, today comes from a designer who took, took the uh, exam and became a certified interconnecting designer. And what he wanted to know was, what does it really mean by the safe operating temperature? Let me show you the chart. The chart looks like this and basically what the designer does he picks the number of amps that his current has and then he looks over to determine the temperature rise above ambient temperature in other words how hot does the conductor get when this much current is being passed through it consequently what then happens is you go down to a chart that goes in the middle of that and you look at that chart and determine the thickness of your copper on an inner layer and then looking and finding where those lines cross that gives you the width of the copper and tells you the cross-sectional area. So what this designer wanted to know, what is really safe? And when we tried to answer his question, you know, the answer says it depends. Uh, the charts talk about uh, ambient temperature. Uh, so what is the ambient temperature of your product? If it's in a room like this room, it's 25 degrees centigrade. If it's sitting next to the engine block in a car, the ambient temperature can be much hotter. So you start off with a different uh, starting temperature. The next thing he wanted to know is what happens and how hot does it get with the different current going through it? and whether it's safe or not. Uh, water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. So one of the safe things to do that if the conductor is a place where a human being can touch it, you want to keep it below the boiling point of water, which is pretty obvious. But the materials that the conductors are on, the printed circuit board materials, both epoxy and polyimid and some of the other resin systems, they're pretty tough. An underwriter's laboratory checks our materials for what we call a long-term usage. And in that long term, they're tested at 125 degrees centigrade. So you're really safe up about that. So the answer to the question was, start with the ambient temperature. It could be anywhere from 25 to 40 to even 80 degrees. Add to it the rise time that you get from the number of amperes of your current. And as long as you're below, say, 125 degrees for epoxy or 170 degrees for polyimid, you're probably pretty safe that the conductor won't melt on you and that the material holding the conductor in place will probably stay good too. We've written a new standard, the IPC 2152, to kind of talk a little bit about what happens inside a multi-layer board where the heat of that conductor is transferred to a plane and the plane makes it a little cooler. So most of the products that we've designed over time have been pretty safe in that in a multi-layer board you get a certain amount of heat transfer to a plane which makes the conductor run even cooler. Okay, thank you very much.